Hello, Baba La Fula. All right, we are back in business. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, <coughs> witness the beautiful entrance of Travis King. Instead, this match is just going to get right underway. Jamari Williams, uh, of course, had his entrance, but Travis King was held up because some punk named Gumble was talking shit about him on Twitter, so he had to respond real quick. We had to cut to commercial. It was pretty graphic. But now this matchup is underway. Our main event of reality wrestling edition at number 16 here Thursday afternoon. Jamari Williams dead last at 0-5. Travis King in second at 3-0. Could end up tying Salvi for first with a win here. Go 4-0. Of course, King undefeated in his near four-month CMV career. Unpinned, unsubmitted, unbeaten, period. Jamari Williams, a two-time international champion. Travis King uh, recently, of course, he had that victory alongside Xander Slay over Schmitty and Trauma this past fusion, but last week got that one over the undisputed champion, Reese Matthews, who, of course, this Sunday will be defending his championship against Chris Andrews, perhaps even Paul Devine in a triple threat if Devine can get past Brody Sampson, a much, much, much more absolutely stacked card for homecoming. You're not going to want to miss it as Travis King with a pop-up. Fucking uh, double boots right, right up under the jaw there. Well, the entrances have never frozen on reality wrestling before. It was the first time, so that, that kind of sucks. Seems like they always only freeze in the last match, though. I don't, I don't understand that. It's a weird glitch. And a tweet from Harvey Hastings responding to Raj. He says, I was the greatest tag team wrestler in Germany. Of course I wouldn't disappoint. Oh, and there's that spinning Euro uppercut, man. King looking to make quick work of J-Dub here on Reality Wrestling. Jesus Christ, man. This might be over already. No, Jamari Williams not going to let that happen. King was undoubtedly sizing him up for the checkmate. That Death Valley driver. Instead, he's going to take a batch of Kiwi Crushers for his troubles. A few to the chest of that final one right to the side of the head. Jamari, what a huge upset this would be right here. One, two, only a two count. Jamari wants to finish the Invitational. There's no hope of him placing first, second, or even third at this point. But he wants to finish with at least one victory. Even if he loses to Travis here, he'll have one more chance against Andrew Briggs next week. But he can say that he's the first man to defeat Travis King. Oh, the spear! Tries to pull it out of nowhere, but King saw it coming regardless. And now Travis King lets out a mighty roar. Signaling that Jamari is nearing his end. But perhaps not Jamari. With that rolling sunset flip powerbomb, Travis giving him too much time. King doesn't usually talk that much. Doesn't usually talk that much. Shit gets that ring, whoops ass, and leaves. But for some reason, he's jaw jagging a lot tonight, and Jamari's making him pay for it. Another pin by Williams trying to steal it. One, just a one count. Travis King going to slip out of the headlock attempted there by Jamari. Hooks to the jaw. Big knee strike, man. Square to the face. Jamari not going to stay down for long, though. Short arm shoulder block reels him in. And Jamari now strutting his stuff, baby. Let's out a woo. Going to try to mount a comeback. Maybe back suplex right there. Oh, of course, the king of kip up. Inverted atomic drop, and then a scoop slam. Jamari riding high, baby. Gumbel on the edge of his seat. Could Jamari be the first man to defeat Travis King here in the main event of Reality Wrestling? Edition number 16, Kiwi Crushers again. Gumbel's wearing his Jamari Williams t-shirt right now. A little cheeky bow before dropping the leg. Oh my God, could J-Dub have it? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Sizing up Travis King. Spear countered again by Travis. And now King's had enough. He ain't playing around anymore. Looking to pull the trigger. Calls this the checkmate. End of the pin. One, two, three. Oh my God. Only one person has kicked out of the checkmate before, and that was world champion Reese Matthews last week on Fusion. Nobody else can kick out of that move. Jamari Williams, though, not staying down so easily. Jamari with a back elbow. He's carrying a lot of momentum, gaining a couple of victories these past few weeks. German suplex by Travis King, though. Oh, and there's another spinning Euro uppercut. And that seems to have taken. I don't think I've seen Travis King get gassed yet. Drops down to one knee, late pinfall attempt. One, two, two count. Travis seems a bit, uh, a bit worried here. Not looking to let that phase him. Checkmate number two. Hoping that this gets the job done right down onto the neck. Into the pin. One, two, three, and Travis King goes 4 0. Oh. Jamari Williams certainly gave him one a hell of a fight. I have never seen a look of work like that in his face before. Like I said, only just kicked out of the checkmate. That was Reese Matthews last week. Jamari did not make it easy, but King remains undefeated. And now ties Salvi for first in the invitational. Checkmate number two seals Jamari's fate. Jamari now 0-6. Can he at least get one win? His final invitational match next week on Fusion against Andrew Briggs. Or will he go 0-7? Nobody has ever lost every single match in the invitational before. I think Caden Kenner came close in the first one, but he got two wins, I do believe. Who can stop? The perfect specimen, the unconquerable one. Topher, what if I told you bonus match? Would that get would that get you would that get you some, some tingles down there? Would that wet your whistle? <laughs> Excuse me. Or should we get a little look at that homecoming now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like look what Universe would have looked. Tyson Cage versus Azrael. Oh, Furious Frank versus Bob Luger. Rick Reed versus Kaiva. Two Gumble calls in there. Chandler and Kent. Bludgeon getting that world title shot, though. Chris Andrews going back for the uh, Anarchy title, apparently. And then Slayton. That's the. I'm keeping that main event, ladies and gentlemen. This sudden change. That is a main event. That's going to be a sentence as main event, I tell you right now. Mark my words. Uh, should we do a battle royal? Those are always fun. What kind of match should we do? Battle Royale? A Battle Royale or a Fatal 4-Way?
Fatal four way. <clears throat> I just realized they took out four man battle royals. Uh, I don't know if that was in last year's game or not. I don't think it was. So I guess we're doing a Fatal four way. Well, let's see. <laughs> I'm not doing a ladder. We'd be here for like half an hour. Yo, what up, Devlin? Alright, so fiddle four way then. Devlin O'Brien debuting tomorrow night on Genesis. Against Elijah Stewart. Yeah, we'll do a... We'll, we're going to do a six-man battle royal. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, Let's see who's in here right now instead of doing the winner thing. Well, Topher and Gumble can pick someone because they won originally. <clears throat> Just throw out names. I saw El Jefe. Is that who you're choosing? Put El Jefe in there. Matt Devious. See Aries. Saw Josh Wolf. Alistair. One more. I need one more name. One more name. <laughs> Paul Devine? I feel like we put Paul Devine in there. He's going to win. We'll put the world champion in there. Randomize it. We'll randomize it. Oh, Andrew Briggs. <laughs> oh, here's everybody. Did we just see, uh, should we put Devlin in there? Because that guy just came. We'll put Devlin in there. This homeboy just showed up. We do not want slow momentum, no sir. What are you going to do when Roman Reigns wins the CMV Royal Rumble, brother? <laughs> Alright, so this interbrand six-man over-the-top rope battle royal. We've got El Jefe, Josh Wolf, and Devlin O'Brien from Genesis, Matt Devious, Aries, and Alistair Knox from Fusion. This is Knox's, uh, Knox and O'Brien's debut. O'Brien makes his official Genesis debut tomorrow night. On Genesis taking on Elijah Stewart, but we're gonna get our first look at him here in this one as the bell rings, and we are 
man, that loads up real fast without entrances. My goodness. So we're going to see Alistair Knox, certainly with a unique look about him, go after Matt Devious, who's coming up a loss this past Monday night at a uh, live event and tag team action. Devlin O'Brien, I didn't realize how massive he was, brother. He is a big guy. I haven't seen him yet. Just, just, literally just signed to CMV the other day. Already in action, obviously a thirst to compete as Ares Christ, one half of the old gods, alongside his brother Hades. They debuted on Fusion this past week with a loss to Fatal Decision. Josh Wolf returning, of course, from hiatus. Missed, uh, missed action for the past about two weeks or so after he lost his Rising Star Championship to Sebastian Vachon and El Hafe. The number one contender to light heavyweight championship might be the first man eliminated here at the hands of the big man O'Brien, No, The Irishman gonna get battled back. El Jefe gonna be in action tomorrow night on Genesis in a triple threat match. Oh, my God, a backstabber off the suplex. El Jefe gonna be joining Bryce Hurt and Curtis Heist in a triple threat non-title match. Of course, this Sunday at homecoming, El Jefe and Bryce Hurt have their one-on-one -on -one rubber match finally with the championship on the line. Matt Devious to the top rope, drops the elbow down to the chest of Alistair Knox. As El Jefe gonna take down Devlin. Josh Wolf shoots for a takedown, gets caught with a DDT at the hands of Ares though. And Devious out of the corner. Oh, oh, is he, oh, bam, knee to the side of the head. I've seen Knox use that move frequently in the CMB Performance Center. I don't know if Devious just, uh, I think that's a SIG, because I don't think he had a finisher yet to steal one. Gumbo's gonna get triggered. Knox is gonna battle back though as he puts Devious out out of the apron. Josh, what with a cheeky little hurricane run on What is Hell Hefe doing here? Oh my god, is he about to do the worm? <laughs> Hell Hefe doing the worm, brother. Just in the middle of this battle royal, here comes El Hefe doing the worm to Devlin O'Brien. Meanwhile, Alistair Knox saves himself from elimination. Ares Christ might be the first man out of here at the hands of Josh Wolf. No, nope, Devlin's big fat body inadvertently saves him. And Devious again going to try to get Knox out of here. He's teetering. We got three possible eliminations happening right now. Yes, there goes Alistair Knox, the first man eliminated. Not, uh, not such a great debut for the newcomer. Oh, there goes Josh Wolf eliminated at the hands of Ares now. One Genesis guy down, one Fusion guy down. And then there were four just like that. El Jefe continues his assault on Devlin as Matt Devious chills in the corner. Always a great strategy in a battle royal type situation to let everybody else beat each other down. And then when you see an opportunity to take it. Oh, and Devious another elimination as Ares Christ. Drops throat first down on the top rope, and he's out of here. Two eliminations now for Devious, as El Jefe still working on the big man. Little cross face on O'Brien, trying to wear him down a bit. And then there were three. I don't know what is happening right now. El Jefe's just dodging everybody left and right. Power slam by O'Brien. Probably, uh... I would have said early on, he's got that that size, the height, weight advantage here. Going to be tough to put over the top rope. As now Matt Devious, the two fusion guys, kind of teaming up on El Jefe here of Genesis. Oh no, Devlin's a Genesis guy. I'm dumb. Debuts tomorrow on Genesis. I've said like 10 times already. But Devlin doesn't give a shit. Trying to eliminate the number one contender for the light heavyweight championship. A man who could make history, become a three-time light heavyweight champion this Sunday, be the first to ever do that. Pulls him back, that pendulum backbreaker. Now look at this. Uh, I can't really see from this angle. Is that a knuckle sandwich he's got on right now? I don't think so. El Jefe able to battle out of it, but an obvious partnership between Devious and O'Brien here. Trying to wear down El Jefe, but O'Brien keeps breaking up Devious' moves. Devious going to get him back for it now. Oh, Devious, what is this? Oh, my goodness. The fireman's carrying neckbreaker connecting. And El Jefe's just getting worked on hard right now. O'Brien coming in from behind. 
Jadavia's gonna break up his move again. Now a course neck breaker by the antagonist who brings El Jefe to his feet, the human fish in real trouble right now. Put out onto the apron. Devious looking to make the elimination, but O'Brien saves him. First man eliminated was Alistair Knox, then almost immediately after, we saw Josh Wolf eliminated. Aries Christ put out by Matt Devious. Devlin O'Brien. We're gonna get El Hefe out here. Is Matt Devious gonna help him? Or he's just gonna watch. Looks like he's just gonna watch. Devlin O'Brien. Could he get the human fish out of here? No. El Hefe still riding. He ain't done yet. But Devious telling him, "Nah, you're getting eliminated, kid." Oh, but here comes O'Brien out of nowhere. He says, "I want that elimination." And once again, Devious just gonna watch him. And once again, El Hefe saves himself. Devious with a cheeky little jab from out of nowhere. El Jefe with a front headlock gonna walk him over to the ropes. El Jefe gonna get the elimination. No, Devlin cuts him off. Single knee backbreaker. There's obvious tension between Devlin and Matt Devious here, but they're trying to work towards. Oh! Goes for jumping the shark. But Devlin shuts that shit down. Not looking to get his knees, his knees, his teeth knocked down his throat. Not looking to get his knee to go to his throat. Devious once again trying to get El Jefe out of here. Devlin going to help. Now he's going to pull a Devious and just watch. Devious has El Jefe teetering. No, El Jefe again defies the odds here. Just will not be eliminated. Devious has had enough. You can see how pissed off he is. Oh, Devlin. Goodbye, El Jefe. Power slammed. To the outside, god damn. And Devlin immediately turns the tensions to Matt Devious now. That partnership didn't last long after El Jefe was eliminated. One fusion guy, one Genesis guy. This is the debut of Devlin O'Brien. Matt Devious nearly eliminated, but he saves himself. Now Devious gonna put the Irishman out on the apron. This would be a big push of momentum for the antagonist. There we go! Devlin O'Brien eliminated Matt Devious. Secures himself the victory here. Three eliminations for the antagonist. Devlin O'Brien falls short, but tomorrow he makes his official debut. One-on-one -on -one with Elijah Stewart. And there's the finish right there. Devlin O'Brien sent El Jefe flying over the top. Devious immediately pounced on him. It's actually fusion, Tim. Oh my God, my voice is so bad. Matt Devious is a fusion guy, though. Everybody's celebrating Genesis, but... <laughs> oh, my God. My voice is going to be so bad for fucking homecoming. Got to do Genesis tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do. Fucking rip, 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 rip. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. As always, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure you follow me. Tomorrow's the go-home show. Genesis, the final stop before homecoming this Sunday. You're not going to miss it. Stack from top to bottom. Our website, communityuniverse.forumotion.com. Indeed, click that link right there to uh, join. If you want your call on the show, you're more than welcome to check us out. And Indeed, Tim posts on my Twitter and YouTube as well. All my past episodes on that. Yeah, Tim, you can find out my Twitch info as well. So I will see you guys tomorrow. My voice is still going to be terrible. Fucking ripping piece. I've got like a, probably a four-hour pit review in Homecoming. I'm never going to talk again. But nonetheless, I'll see y'all tomorrow.